All right, guys, and welcome to another Delta Force, the original, the classic uh, gameplay video. In this one, we're going to be uh, still operating in Peru and doing a mission called Flood. This is where we uh, capture all vehicles, equipment, and contraband at the enemy airfield. It's a pretty cool mission. Uh, we're just taking over a, a drug lord airfield, essentially. All right, so uh, from your insertion point, which is here, I love the uh, briefings. Um, this ha this game has a very serious tone to it, from the voice acting. You know, probably one of the most serious games, uh, right along with SWAT 3, that kind of serious uh, tone. Um, proceed south along your checkpoints to a position in the foothills of the northeast end of Objective Rain. Eliminate all enemy resistance. At the airfield, you are authorized to neutralize any enemy that you encounter. However, you are advised to avoid contact until you reach the airfield so as not to alert forces here to your presence. This mission will be a success only after the objective has been secured. So expected enemy forces. Reconnaissance photos taken during a U-2 overflight. Love the U-2. <laughs> Amazing airplay. Of course, we have like all the uh, modern uh, UAVs like the Predator and the Reaper. Uh, of the objective revealed approximately 10 to 20 personnel manning stations on the airfield. The photos also show a small village approximately 20, 240 meters uh, north of the objective. J2 believes this village may be serving as housing for personnel at the airfield. So basically a barracks type of thing. Another 8 to 10 men may be within or patrolling near the village at any time. Uh, you always play as Bravo team. Uh, so you got Alpha team being served southwest of the objective, move into the position in the hills 180 meters off the western flank. Charlie team will be served southeast at the airfield and proceed into position to flank the airfield. Once Bravo team is inserted, which is us, both Alpha and Charlie will move forward to neutralize the enemy positions and secure the southern perimeter of the objective. So uh, U-2 reconnaissance uh, from special operation or, or doing recon in special operations area. Discovered an airfield north of Cusco, operated by the Drug Lords Mercenary Forces. So it's pretty cool because you're doing uh, counter drug operations. And you do play as Delta Force, which I think is is amazing. Uh, Novologic uh, that, you know, this came out s such a long time ago, probably before many people knew what Delta Force uh, was at the time. And really nailed their operations and the fact that, you know, they, as far as we know, they go all, all over the world. Um, analysis of the recon photos taken during the flight shows a shipment of drugs being loaded into an aircraft in preparation for shipment. With recent destruction of a primary mercenary base and the loss of a storage house and convoy, the drug loads operations will be severely crippled by the loss of this airfield and all drugs and munitions stored there. Bravo team will lead the charge to capture the airstrip. Uh, so pretty cool. <coughs> it's been about a year since I've done the last Delta Force video, and this this is the game of my childhood. Uh, it was pretty much, I think, Delta Force first. It introduced me to tactical shooters. It was like one of the first games I ever played on PC, period, besides flight simulators. And then later on, uh, I got introduced to the original Rainbow Six, the first one. And then later on, I got introduced to uh, Ghost Recon after that. So very nostalgic. Um, let's go ahead and check out the gear here. I'll be using the, the M40A1 sniper rifle 7.62 round um, with an 8x scope. And for a secondary, uh, we'll, we'll be fine here. I'll probably just keep that. Now uh, we can load some satchels. And then for my sidearm, I have a mod that I'm using which enables us to use either an AK or the MP5. MP5 is a nice choice because it gives you the uh, suppressed option. All right, here we go. I remember that load time used to take like, I don't even know, <laughs> probably like uh, five minutes or something on old PCs. So, uh, man, this is, this is just really cool. Um, look at this dude. Delta Force Operator, just super serious, not cartoony at all. Uh, definitely looks like a simulation more than more than anything else. So pretty cool. Um, so if you can forgive the graphics and kind of look past that, this was you know it didn't look great even at the time that it came out. I think it was like '98 or '99, something like that. Um, but one thing that it did offer at the time on a 300 megahertz or 450 megahertz computer 
was the ability to run uh, an open world, right? So you got this pretty huge map for the time, uh, and it was running at a, a really good frame rate. So uh, we got contact up here. So there's south. We're going to go ahead and engage these guys. One man patrol. And a great thing about it is that you can hear the enemies, uh, you know, talking, and they'll react to you. So this guy has no idea where that sniper shot came from. He's going to go investigate. And he's down. So I'm going to go up this hill and get into a um, uh, sniper position. You can hear that. I do have the music disabled. From my, from what I remember, there's no music in the campaign anyway. And so what we're going to do, using this little GPS here, um, we need to proceed down uh, south along the river bank there, where the kind of beach area is. And before we do that, we're going to take out targets of opportunity here. So you can see the range there. And again, this does feature bullet drops, 700 meter shot. There's a bullet drop. Not much, but definitely you, you had to comp compensate for that all the time. A little freeze here. All right. Got a guy crossing, oh, two guys crossing the bridge. Ooh, that was a butt shot. You can see the death animations. I just feel like these old tactical shooters put a lot of uh, effort into the death animations, and I think they're significantly better than, than what you see today. Um, I don't know. There, there was a point in gaming where things went arcadey. Is the, probably the best word that I can use for that. I mean, if you look at Call of Duty, I mean, that is absolutely a arcadey style <laughs> shooter. This was, on the other hand, had a very serious tone to it, the animations, you know, the uh, um, deaf animations, even the voice acting. Whoa. I'm going to get down here in the prone. So obviously somebody spotted us here. Whoa. Those, were, those rounds were close. And I really like the bullet ricochet and the uh, the, the uh, supersonic cracks. You can hear the whips going off across our uh, over our head. Oh, there we go. There he is. Jeez. There he is. Got him. So that's scary. You you are pinned down, and this is um, pretty much one shot, one kill. You can also swim in this, which is amazing. I know I know we we got all hyped with Arma with the scuba operations, but uh, this is Delta Force, and you are able to swim in it, which is sweet. All right, I'm I'm really pinned down here. You know that if you get shot in the chest or in the head you are done like that's it that was the difficulty level um, you, you could put it on easy you had a little bit more health but still very hardcore even on easy compared to a lot of shooters I'm taking some heavy fire from from the airfield here one thing is if you break line of sight they will continue to engage your uh, last known position which is interesting. Do those guys know where I am? I don't think they do. I <laughs> hear some bugs going off. I think they... M no, they're definitely engaging our last position here. You can see the tracer rounds. So I'm not really sure where they are. I'm going to break line of sight here. And try to flank them. This game really taught me how to, and I call it a game, but it's, it really is more of like a military, a Milsim title. Um, 
really is a simulation. I mean, it will teach you tactics. This really, because of the realistic damage, you played this more like um, like a sim, like you would play armor or something like that. Because you knew that if you got hit, that was it. You know, you needed, you really needed to plan out your uh, your attacks and everything. Um, I know there's been sub subsequential Delta Force titles, but they haven't been. You know, except for Delta Force Two, maybe the the other ones really turned arcadey for some weird reason. You got like some weird uh, health. It wasn't regeneration, but you did have health packs and stuff like that. Let's see the bullet drop there. I don't think I got that guy. Those guys are both down. Okay, airfield's alerted now. I'm in a decent position here. Two guys in the tower down. Got guys moving up here. That guy. You do have to lead your shots as well. There's the bullet drop. That guy's down. Nice stuff animation. So all in all, you know, it's a voxel shooter. Didn't wasn't incredibly successful. I mean it's it's sort of a niche crowd that plays this type of stuff. I'm taking rounds here. Hopefully I don't get killed. Jeez. Yeah, this gets your blood pumping when you get engaged and you hear the rounds going off around you. I heard him left. So sound is very important. You can hear where the gunshots are coming from. Let me try to get up on this hill. Yeah, there he is on the right. So he's definitely in that that area over there. I'm not sure exactly where. So, you know, I was playing this and really just bring back a lot of memories. And it is a lot of, a lot of fun. And kind of, you know, tense where you, you need to use tactics or you're going to get, you're going to, you're going to get lighted up. All right, I'm in a good position here. And the, and the grass does hide you, which is sweet in multiplayer. You know, it's something that you could rely on. Unlike uh, a lot of modern games, you know, you can turn your grass off in Armor 3 and see everything in a PvP environment. Which I don't do a lot of anyway. Alright. Interesting. So I'm, I'm way beyond the view distance here for some weird reason. I'll bust out the binoculars and see if I can see anything. Nope, not seeing anything down here. Alright, we'll keep engaging at the airfield. Got that guy. Sorry about the yell. A little micro freezes there. Now I'm supposed to have Alpha and Charlie supporting. Yeah, there they are on Overwatch. You can see the blue... Uh, the blue symbols on the map and let's see if we can get any more targets here alright there's a C-130 so basically these guys are loading up this uh, aircraft with drugs and we're just taking over this entire airfield got another guy running far Oh man, didn't lead that shot. There's a sniper position. All right, two two more down in the tower. Looks like two replaced the ones that we took out earlier. Let's see where that other guy went. And just the ambient sounds you can hear, like eagles and just all sorts of stuff, like you know, water bugs. It's, it's not as it's not as involved as modern games, you know, uh, but it definitely set the foundation 
for follow-on uh, shooters. Now this came out shortly before like uh, Arma, right? Or uh, Cold War title or op Operation Flashpoint. And they kind of took a different oh, different stance with that. Whoa. Those rounds are close. There he is up on the hill. Nice. Those are probably the guys. That was one kilometer shot, apparently. Those are the guys who were engaging us from uh, earlier, probably. All right, we're going to cross here. Check my map real quick. Yeah, it looks like we're, we're pretty good. Keep moving up into the airfield. So one of the things I like about this is that you um, you're not handholded at all. I mean, you can see that there's no um, there's no like uh, markers on the enemies or anything like that. I mean, I do have them on the GPS. You can disable those, but um, for the most part, there's no handholding. It's just you know here are your objectives. This is what you need to do. And man, that guy swims fast. And it's up to you how you want to how you want to proceed. All right, we're coming up on the uh, coming up on the objective now. All right, those tangos. Yeah, that's Alpha or, Bra or uh, Charlie engaging. These are friendlies here. You can hear their uh, M4s engaging. Uh, they're trying to gauge it through the tent. Nice. Alright, that was uh, <laughs> Mission Flood. Alright, so we secured the airfield. Mission successful. Let's continue on. All right, Weatherman, this is uh, Penetrate Enemy Defenses, Locate and Destroy Cache Drugs and Munitions. Designated Objective Gale. Destroy Cache Drugs and Munitions found from the village. From your insertion point, proceed 130 meters northwest of the abandoned farm. Neutralize any perimeter guard stationed there and continue through your checkpoints of the objective. Locate the enemy cache and destroy it. Once you've accomplished this task, proceed immediately to your extraction point. Expected enemy forces. Human collected by J2 indicates that enemy has approximately 30 men in and around the village. J2 believes that the mercenaries are working on a rotating patrol shift in which half of the patrol uh, the village and its perimeter while the other half is off duty within the village. Let's see what kind of support we'll get here. Alpha team will be inserted into the hills approximately 300 meters from northwest of the village. From their vantage point, they will provide suppressing fire for your ingress and egress from the objective. So this is awesome. I just, I love the, uh, how they got this right. You know, using all the terminology and everything. Um, as well as the briefing, right? Um, I think they, they tend to use a standard briefing. You got your mission, execution, situation, right? Kind of a schmeck type of uh, 
uh, five order paragraph type of thing or five paragraph order uh, rendezvous with you at the extraction point once you destroy the enemy cache documents captured during the raid on the mercenary campers revealed the location of one of the drug lords major supply caches Peruvian drug enforcement officials have confirmed this information the storage center is located within an old village controlled by the mercenary army so kind of almost like a ghost recon wildlands type of take you know anti-drug operations uh, with uh, special forces uh, operational detachment Delta. All right, same deal. I'm probably going to rock the M4 with the uh, satchel charges. Of course, we'll need those to actually execute the mission. So let's start this up. All right, so here we go. Oh, I guess we got... I remember this. Got a little, uh... Little outpost here we gotta take out. I always remember this is kind of tough, because, uh... You're kind of exposed in there, in around this building. I'm gonna use the suppressed MP5 to sneak up on these guys. One guy. Oh, he's alerted. That guy just dropped to the prone. Did get that guy. <clears throat> I think we still have one guy kind of lingering around here. Let's see if we can get him. That might be a uh, Alpha and Charlie engaging right now. Break contact with these guys. You do slow down as you go up hills and stuff. Oh, I just spot that guy. down. Yeah, I remember that was always really tough getting those guys. I can see the uh, flat shooting uh, 5.56, five, which is nice. I got more guys coming in down through here. And I do like the scope that, you know, you still maintain, like a real scope if you had like two eyes open, you know, you could still maintain your peripheral situational awareness and still be able to see through that, through maybe like a 4X scope or something like that. Lead shot on that guy. Go ahead and reload here. I 
it's kind of cool that they modeled the uh, different trajectories of uh, various rounds. That 9mm really drops pretty significantly, actually. Alright, pushing on. Done good here. Is this the objective? I think the next waypoint is. Yeah. Alright, we'll keep moving. And I remember I you know I used to play this just constantly and never never got old because every time you played it it was a different um you know, same mission but you could you could choose which way you were going to pursue these objectives. You know, so if you pick the MP5, you could do it um, more stealthily. But of course, you'd have to get in closer to get kill shots, and you also um, didn't have range, right? So it just depending on your play style. I am using that mod so I get the best of both worlds here, but in the original, you only had one option, which was nice. There's that. Right. Another thing you can do is actually um, strafe. You can really slow down your movement. You can do this in Ghost Recon as well. Alright, not sure if they were talking about this window. I know that this village is full of... Uh, guys down. Full of enemies, so I'm trying to be extra careful here. Alright, we'll keep moving here. Let's see what, um, I'll zoom in on the map. Alright. I think it's Alpha Team. Yep, there they are right there. So pretty cool. You got an AI, and one thing is that they, you know, you'd attack these objectives from various angles, multi-prong attacks. <laughs> All right. trying to be careful with all these uh, all these windows and doors got another window right there hopefully there's not somebody in there This one looks clear. Jeez. Not sure where that shot came from. So it is, it's like very uh you know, very tense. And that's one thing with you know modern uh, modern FPS shooters, you know, they usually have a lot of health where you can hide behind cover and and regain health and stuff like that. And it just doesn't it doesn't add that level of tension that a re realistic shooter does. Alright, that guy's down. Can't get in through here. They got that door barricade. Right. 
All right, we got the, we got the package. All right, so what we're gonna do is switch over to the um, if I can remember what the <laughs> what the key is here. There we go. Turn down a satchel. Satchel number two. Sweet. And we'll uh we'll set these explosives off here. There we go. Here's a detonator. Oh there we go. And then the last thing, of course, your mission's not over until you uh, extract. Actually, some missions, you, you know, you did end when you when you captured the objective or whatever. But most of the missions, you do have to extract. And it, again, it created that feeling of just being part of a full operation, right? Where you insert, and then you have to get to uh, to the LZ. Usually picked up by a uh, by Black Hawk, and and sometimes, actually, a lot of times, the LZ was hot. And you had it cleared of uh, of enemies. For instance, these guys right here. So I'll kind of wait one here. Scout out the. Uh, Extraction zone. I think that might have been the only guy. All right, there's our Blackhawk, and we'll get on. Should be mission complete here, hopefully. All right, there we go. Alright. Significant amount of drugs and weapons were destroyed in the mission. Awesome. Alright, so I'll do one more in this video. This is Bad Habit. Intercept and destroy drug lords convoy designated objective hail. Um, this is kind of a tough one from what I remember. Your inception point is approximately 290 meters southeast of the abandoned village. Proceed to the village and move into position into the hills 225 meters northwest of the village road. Uh, the road the convoy must use passes directly north of this position. So here's our... Alright, so waypoint 4 is uh, what we have to remember here. That that will be the ambush site, I guess. Or maybe it will be further north at uh, objective 6 here. When all vehicles in the objective have been destroyed, proceed directly to your extraction point. Alright, uh, so you got to kind of think about it. Um northwest of the village the road the convoy must use passes directly north of this position so basically I think uh, they're going to be traveling uh, westbound along the road between waypoints four and five and then from as soon as we uh, disable the convoy we proceed to the extraction point this mission will only be considered success once you have destroyed the convoy and reach your extraction point all right expected enemy forces uh, signet indicates that a force of 20 to 30 mercenaries currently patrol the area surrounding the village and the convoy route. The majority of these patrols consist of two-man teams. Alpha and Charlie will be inserted 500 meters northwest of the village and will proceed to positions from which they can intercept the convoy should you be delayed in reaching your ambush position. These teams will also cover your route to the extraction point. Alright, cool. So we'll have a little bit of overwatch. With the capture of the airfield north of Kuzo, the destruction of a major storehouse, the drug lords attempt to move remaining cache of drugs, uh, guns and drugs to a more secure area. Signals intelligence collected by J2 indicates a convoy is currently on the move along the southern edge of the designated special operations area. Peruvian counter-drug operatives have supplied JSFOC, uh, Joint Special 
I guess that's Joint Special Forces Operations Command and Control, I don't know, with intelligence, which shows the most likely route the combo would take. All right, so we're definitely going to need the law, and we'll bring the, uh, why not, we'll bring the AK as well. All right, let's do it. Oh, it's night mission. Man, I wish I brought the MP5. Always a good idea to have that thing. Um, that's right, we'll use the AK here. Got a two-man patrol. From what I remember, you can take these guys out with, uh, with the knife. Let's see if it works out for us. Oh! oh. <laughs> Sweet. Alright, we got those guys. Oh, I like the sound of that. I think it's a it's a two forty. It could be a modified M sixty, I'm not really sure. Might be two forty. Man, those rounds are close. Again, I think those guys are engaged in my last known position. Jeez, it's close. Oh, there they are right there. Whoa. Yeah, I think we might be good. You can see that those guys went from the uh, valley there up the hill to where they they heard contact come from. So I think we might be clear at this point. Oh, you got the night vision on. That is cool. I don't know. It's just it's this nice, not nostalgic kind of feeling to this. He's got a monocular, the the uh, night vision monocular there with the Oakleys underneath that or whatever that is. I don't know. That's cool. Alright, I think we're good. Let's go across this bridge. Pretty cool stuff. The other thing I like about this is there's uh, there's a ton of maps. You have there's like five different uh, countries that you can go into, and there's no um, there's no campaign style in the sense that you it's a story mode or anything like that. You just do the missions as they. Yeah, Roger that. You know, basically, as they come up. Really, I'd like to just avoid this village altogether if I can. Oh, we got contact up there. Those guys, are those guys rocking NVGs? I think they are. can't remember if you can disable night vision. Yeah, I don't think you can. That's a four-man patrol. Let's see if we can ambush him from this position. Check left real quick. Alright. 
see if we can get them up close. No, no scope on this one. Alright, we'll break contact. I don't want to get ambushed there. All exposed. Oh, there's the convoy. Alright, so let's see if I can take out the lead vehicle. Ah, getting a freeze here. And a little micro freeze there. I'm running this on Windows 10 and it it seems to run pretty well. Not having any significant issues with it. Oh, come on, get down, man. And these are all technicals. Alright, we got most of the vehicles disabled here. Got guys on the right. If you can't understand what they're saying, the base can tell them to kill them. I'm going to fall back to, uh, Overwatch his position here. Oh, this Alpha one of two. Jeez, where are those guys? Oh, that's Charlie. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the law out. Great. Thought it had a drop, but it doesn't. Trying to figure out if we have any other vehicles left here. Alright, so that's Charlie 2. Yeah, I thought that law had some sort of a drop, but it. No, it doesn't. Let's get straight as an arrow. Who's he shooting at? I think this is the last one here. I think we're good for extraction. Alright, Charlie T, not sure who you're engaging. Jeez, that's crazy. There must be somebody on the other side of this hill or something like that. All right, Charlie wants still up. That's good. And uh, from what I remember, the missions do get progressively 
harder in the campaign as you move on to you know various countries and stuff like that. Are those guys still up? Looks like two bodies right there. All right. So extra extraction straight this way. All in all, it's a lot of fun. You know, lots of replayability on these missions. And if you've never played this, you know, it's like, I think it's on sale right now for five bucks. You can get the entire series. I can't vouch for the other ones. I think the later ones went it'll definitely more arcade style from the videos that I've seen. Where, uh, uh, you have like health packs and like lots of health. And the AI are really dumbed down to the point where they're just standing there. They're just you know after the first one and the second one I think any anyone that's come come after those are uh, is really not the greatest oh nice black ox engaging I remember that. We always just get ambushed by these guys at the extraction. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's pretty much uh, the last three missions in the uh, Peru campaign. Anti-drug operations. And maybe I'll do some of this in the future. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.